Early morning, we're off to the races, going to Georgia. This is a Georgia on my mind. End of the year, I've got to make a road trip. Me and D are going to hit out of town, save some moolah, save some cash. You guys are going to ride with us. Hey, is it hard to believe? 2019, one whole decade is going to be gone. 2020, brand new year. Where are you going to start? You got your goals? We do. We're off to the races. Let's go to Georgia. Georgia on my mind. Let's see what we got. Let's get rolling. Come on, D. Try to catch me howling at the moon. So we're out there, end of the year. I told you about that hustle that has to happen at the end of the year. Uncle Sam likes to get in your pocket if you don't have your numbers looking right. I was reviewing some, we were working really hard the last couple of days, making sure we have everything lined up. As you business owners know that it's so important to get all your deductions, get all your things paid for. And so we got a three hour trip. And so we had to buy this, uh, this work truck, man, a work vehicle that the government's gonna allow me to write off for the business, for the business. So we're doing a 179 on it. You need to do that to defer some income. We talk about that, why you need to defer income. We'll chat about that in a little bit, but that really goes in direction to your goals. Everything you guys are working for and starting the year, we're gonna be January 1. We're gonna start a whole new decade in just a couple days, actually tomorrow, right? And so what are you doing January 1? that's gonna impact that whole year. So at the end of the year, you're looking for deductions. You're looking for money to uh, legally, right? Put aside and make sure Uncle Sam don't get into your pockets. That you know the laws and you take the time to protect what you've worked all year, developed, spent a lot of time, blood, sweat, and tears. That you've done that and you protected it. What good is it? You make a lot of money and then you spend it all on a bunch of advertising, uh, trips, things like that that don't make sense. And then you'll have your money left at the end of the year. And then you have to start that whole cycle again. So we're constantly working on that. One thing I want to talk about is goals and how we were doing goals. So proud that our team and everything that we did we had a goal of 52 transactions in a short period of time. I think we're too short, too short within, I think we're too short, one fell through, so we had to lose one uh, due to inspections, things like that, things just happened. So we're too short of our goal, very impressed. We'll round up with 50 uh, in just a couple months. So we're pretty impressed with that. And why are goals important? I can tell you that looking back now, if I had not set that goal, I wouldn't have hit 50 because we get in that complacent. You know, you ever feel like you're just working, 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 going, 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 and you're so exhausted, you look up and you're like, hey, I'm working hard, but my numbers aren't making sense. I'm doing a lot of work, but I feel like I'm not getting the reward. Or I'm not getting the sales, the numbers. And keeping those goals, I can tell you, as you guys looking for 2020, make sure you have a written goal. Keep your spouse, keep you accountable. And I would say, make short-term goals. Have a year goal and make sure you have like a quarter or every 120-day goal because it's always in cycles. Our industry and sales, we're in real estate, so weather could be affected. We could have a cold winter. Uh, a lot of different things could go on. If you're across the country, you could have storms. Different things like that could affect, you know, affect getting your home on the market or getting sales. So it's always a cycle. And it's so much easier to hit that short-term goal you know, where you can focus on a couple months, you know, we're putting a sale on the board. Hey, I just got another deal. Hey, look, I got two prospects to follow up. For me, that worked really well. That big goal over the end of the year, it just looked really overwhelming. I don't know if you guys have that issue. It's a great goal, I'm ambitious. Everybody's starting January 1, and you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go conquer the world. And Daniel doesn't kill me here. Um, but when you start, you know, the first of the year, and you look at that big number and then you just start knocking it down, it's one, two, and you're like, oh my God, how are we ever gonna hit that goal? And I think that that's where we start little mini wins. We start with that, you know, let me get this quarter. I got this many numbers, I know my big term goal. And then that way, if something happens, you're off, you can catch it up, let's say your spring market or your other markets where it's your 
it's your boom season, right? That's where things are moving. And you push a little harder, right? You push a little harder to make that extra phone call. You, you put a couple extra reps in on follow-up calls that you've been needing to make. You reach out to your past clients. All that comes into play. That's how you get your numbers. So that's helped us. I can tell you that our year wouldn't have been made the last quarter of the year. Save the best for last. Had to push hard. Where everybody was doing holidays. Um, our industry was like, you know, we'll wait to the first of the year. Well, guess what? We're here. It's 220, new decade. But what we did in the last quarter made the difference for our first quarter. So keep that in mind. We're gonna get down here. We're about a few minutes away. Um, what do you think, Dave? Safe trip? Anyway, uh, talk to you a little bit when we get the dealership. I'm going to get out of here. I want to talk to you. Make sure you stay tuned with us because we're going to talk a little bit of taxes, how to save money. You know, we talk about professionals all the time. You know, the right professional makes a difference between saving cash or you paying Uncle Sam or finding that right house, getting that house sold, or sitting in the market months. It's always who you choose. So let's do a little road action and we'll show you my new truck. deduction 179 not paying uncle sam any money good thing about these suvs they're pretty hefty man over what seven thousand pounds let's just write it off so we need that deduction came down to georgia man couldn't find my color couldn't find what we were looking for had to come down here so i know across enemy territory here the bulldogs but we had to do it man they didn't have these they were hard to find with the color and the cloth interior but listen as we're ending this vlog, we're going into 2020, really about ending your goals and focusing on keeping how much money in your pocket. We talk about that. And we talk about why you need to have a professional, the right professional. So as we're closing out the end of the year, we're doing our tax stuff and finding different ways to, you know, kind of make sure we save as much money as possible. You know, somebody was asking me, why are you spending all that time looking at different stuff and looking up this? Because you know what, the whole question, nobody's gonna watch your money like you, nobody. We went to several CPAs and last year got some different and wrong advice where they'd even tell us proper deductions that we could have got. So it's more money Uncle Sam gets and less deductions that you keep. As a business owner, understand this, your number one goal is to make sure you can get your income as much as you can, sell your product, but protect as much as you can. Everybody says, well, look, you spend so much time. You got so much time. How do you have time, Ryan, to do all that? Well, just like you have time to watch TV or you have time to maybe go to a restaurant or, or spend time going to the ball game. I make time for things that are important. We worked all year. We're closing out the year. We pushed hard. We're trying to take care of our employees. We're trying to help our clients. But we can't do that if we don't protect our bottom line. So end of the year, I've got to close and I got to rush back but we make time for what's important. This was very important. It's not about the fancy truck. It's all nice, right? It's about protecting our bottom line so we can grow our business, so we can do more, so we can help our employees. That's our job. So make sure, you know, we were. I was chatting with the customer the other day. Do you know how many things are out there that you can legitimately write off? If you own a company, you get your health care. Write that off. Truck. You can have one, you could have two, you could be like me and have three, right? There's all kinds of ways, and I was telling my wife this, and I found this crazy law. This will give you a tip, and I'll get off of here. You can rent your house back to the corporation for 14 days. How crazy is that, man? H&R Block's not going to tell you that. You've got to invest in yourself. You've got to do the research. You've got to look up the tax laws. You've got you to dig deep. And press where nobody else will press. Do it legitimately. Be all legal. Play within the rules. You're going to save a lot of money. So you got more money to spend, more money for your brand, and more money to make some, some great revenue in 2020. Hey, guys, it's been an official year. We've done these vlogs. And it's, it's hard to believe it's coming to an end. We'll see where we're going to go in 2020. You guys going to be with us? Hope to follow us. Hope you're with us. 
Hope you guys have a great new year and a happy new year. And your 2020 is awesome. But I got to get back to work. See you. Talk to you soon. It's take me down the river with the cute kids.